hello guys welcome back to my channel dairy mary kitchen today we are making cheesecake and we are going to be eating it with fruit stew that i made by myself okay this is homemade cheese cake okay and it tastes so yummy and it's very very easy to make okay so today i'm going to be sharing with you guys how i make it from scratch it's very easy anybody can make it and you will enjoy it with your family or for your home party it's very nice okay so if this is your first time of coming across my videos or coming to my channel you are welcome for my old subscribers oh my god i welcome you guys back thank you for always coming back for your support let's get started here are the ingredients for our cheesecake okay here i have my fidelifia this one is 250 gram of fidelifia we are going to be needing two of it that is 500 gram of fidelifia in here i have my white sugar 140 gram of white sugar i have my three eggs i have 36 gram or milliliter of egg yolk that is two of it we make that six gram of egg yolk i have 25 gram of all-purpose flour I have my whisk cream. In here, I have my condensed milk. So with this condensed milk, I'm going to be using two tablespoons of condensed milk for this um, amount of cheesecake that I'm going to be do, uh, that I'm going to be doing today. Okay. Then I will need lemon zest of one whole lemon in my blender or you can use your hand wigs or your machine to make this i'm going to be adding all the ingredients starting from my my cheese this is cheese but this marker philadelphia is the best okay so that's why i am using it as we are using 500 gram, I'm going to add everything. But you can use any other cheese that you you want or you find. Okay, if you want to make this my cheesecake. Okay. I'm adding my whisk cream. my egg yolk I'm adding my sugar adding my flour my egg so I'm going to this in You just need only the zest. This is my crofino. This is this grater is so nice. It's it's only take out the, the zest. Okay, so we just added. So now I'm going to add two tablespoons of my condensed milk. So guys, I'm going to blend it. So 
know guys is already done so i'm going to just add a little bit of vanilla just boom Okay, guys in here i have this two mold for for this uh, my cheesecake i have here and i have this little cup okay so you can choose any one that you want it's not going to be exactly this one you can choose any pan of your choice so but before i start just to make it more easier for me when I finish so that the cheesecake will come out so easy I just put a little bit of oil on this my brush so I'm just going to to blush it brush this one as well okay so also I'm going to just blush the side of it Okay, before I can pour in my my cheesecake so I'm going to pour in then I'm going to pour in here we are going to cook it for one hour okay for one hour we are going to cook it at for one hour okay for low heat okay guys look at the cheesecake is still cooking okay so we are leaving it now to so yummy so guys our cheesecake is ready okay you can see it so guys our cheesecake is ready okay you can see it so yummy yummy okay guys you can now enjoy your your cheesecake you can enjoy it when it's hot or when it's cold anywhere you want and today i am enjoying my own with my fruits mixed fruits stew that i made by myself if you want to know how i make this fruit mixed fruit stew you have to watch out for my next video because i'm going to be posting how i make it okay guys this is the second bowl that i used to prepare this uh, cheesecake i just pour my mixed fruit stew on it and i will cut and enjoy as i want thank you for watching and see you next time on my next video bye